Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an error message on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer and you're coming across a blue screen recovery error message that says that it looks like Windows did not load correctly. If you'd like to restart and try again, choose Restart My PC below. Otherwise, choose See Advanced Repair Options for Troubleshooting Tools and Advanced Options. If you don't know what section is right for you, contact someone you trust to help with this. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So this is going to be sort of a two-part video. The first option, I'm going to kind of walk you guys through if you're able to actually restart your computer and then boot into Windows and then some troubleshooting you can do once you're into Windows. The second part of the video will be if you're still stuck on the screen, how to basically rebuild your master boot record, in which case you would select see advanced repair options and then walk through those steps. So it's going to be kind of a two-part video here, guys. So if you're unable to boot into Windows, the second part of the video will cover that aspect of it. And if you're able to boot into Windows and you're still having a problem, you may want to go back and look into those advanced repair options anyway. And if you're able to boot into Windows, if you want to access those options, you could select the Start menu, select the Power button, and then hold the Shift key on your keyboard and select Restart, and that'll get you back to the Advanced Repair Option window. So anyway, assuming you're able to get into Windows, something I'd recommend trying would be to open up the Search menu. Type in CMD, Best Match, you'll come back with Command Prompt. Go ahead and right-click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. So in the description of my video, I'm going to have a couple commands. Go ahead and copy the first one. It's a DISM command. Go ahead and copy that and then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, paste it in, and give us a couple minutes to run. Okay, so once that one is done running, go ahead and copy the second command in the description of my video. It's the System File Checker Utility. And then go to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click on it. Select Edit and paste it in. Hit Enter. And once that scan is concluded, go ahead and close out of here and restart your computer. And then hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, you can attempt the system restore as well if you have any restore points created. So open up the search menu. Go ahead and type in restore. 
best match, we're going to back with create a restore point. Go ahead and open that up. If protection is turned on, you can select the system restore button up here. It's going to say restore system files and settings. System restore can help fix problems that might be making your computer run slowly or stop responding. System restore does not affect any of your documents, pictures, or other personal data. Recently installed programs and drivers might be uninstalled. Select next. I normally recommend going to the most recently created restore point if you have multiple in here. And select next. And then you want to select finish. So system restore cannot be undone until after it has completed. And if System Restore is being run in safe mode or from the System Recovery Options menu, it cannot be undone. Select Yes. And just give this a few minutes to initialize and restore your system. Okay, so System Restore is completed successfully. And once again, hopefully your issue has been resolved. If you're still having a problem, like I said, I'm going to show you guys a previously made section of the tutorial about going about resetting your master boot record, assuming you're able to get into the advanced troubleshooting settings. And if not, if you're able to actually boot into Windows regardless, you can still open up the search menu, tap the power button, and then hold the shift key on your keyboard while selecting restart. And this will get you into the advanced options. And at this point, we're going to start the other video here. But just want to kind of walk you guys through how to get to that screen. So I've just given a moment here. Let this load. And we're going to select the troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. 
and then advanced options again. And then from here you can go into the command prompt. That's where I'm going to start the second part of the tutorial. And this is going to be the meat and potatoes of today's video. So there's a lot of options, like I said, on this page. Um, all of them are pretty good. The starter repair option, if you were to go under here, you can go ahead and actually run an automatic utility. It'll start right when you click on it, and it'll actually go and try and fix the problems automatically. So that's a completely automatic tool. You can also try uninstalling updates. will allow you to uninstall recent quality, which is more regular daily updates, or feature updates, which are larger updates that occur semi-annually or annually. So more of the big builds, like service pack kind of updates, if you want to think of it like that. You can also go underneath startup settings, which will allow you to go to the safe mode or safe mode with networking. You can also boot to a command prompt, I believe, also through here, but it's kind of redundant because you have a command prompt option here. You can also select System Restore, a very good option. I would highly recommend you guys take a look at that. And if you have any restore points saved on here, you can just go ahead and select the most recently created one and then restore your computer back. So, I mean, honestly, one of these options I've already presented here should be able to resolve the problem in itself. However, if you're still having an issue, I would recommend heading over to the command prompt here. So go ahead and select that. And we're going to begin. So I'm going to have this up on the screen. Or I'm going to zoom in, I should say, so you guys should be able to see what I'm typing a little bit easier. So we're going to start by typing boot rec. So it's very important you guys type exactly what you see on my screen here, because if you don't, it's not going to work for you. And you're going to get an error. It's going to say that it's not going to be applicable for your computer. It's going to say that it couldn't find the command, something along those lines. So just be mindful of what you're typing. So anyway, we're going to go start by typing boot, B-O-O-T-R-E-C, so boot rec, space, forward slash fix, M-B-R, exactly how you see it on my screen here. So again, boot rec, space, forward slash fix, M-B-R, hit enter on your keyboard. Should say the operation completed successfully. Now it's going to get a little more complicated. It's going to be a little bit longer command, so just be ready for it. We're going to type in B C D E D I T space forward slash export space. Then type the drive letter where Windows is installed on. Most of you guys should be the C drive. It may be different depending on your computer. Let's start with the C drive. That's more than likely where it's going to be. So that's where I'm going to select. I know it's the C drive in my case. And then you're going to do a colon. So C colon. And then you're going to do a backslash BCD backup. So I know it's a little daunting, guys, but we're going to walk through that one more time for you. So it's, again, it's BCDEDIT. Then you're going to do a space forward slash export. E-X-P-O-R-T. Then you're going to do another space. Now you're going to type the drive letter where Windows is installed. If you don't know, it's probably the C drive, but you can type other drive letters. It's probably just going to give you an error if it's not. Other common drive letters could be the D drive, E, F, G, H. Usually it's pretty early in the alphabet, honestly. And the default is typically the C drive, so I just want to put that out there for you guys. So... Now, once you have it exactly how you see it on my screen here, hit Enter on your keyboard. If you did everything correctly, it should say the operation completed successfully. If not, check your... ...tax and retype it. Make sure you type it in correctly. I feel like a lot of people mess up here because they don't type it in exactly how you see it on my screen. You're welcome to pause the video, rewatch parts of the video. You can zoom in. I mean, there's a lot you can do on these video guys. And I think you can even listen to the transcript on the side of the video. I don't know how good um, the translation is, but usually it's pretty good. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next command here. It's going to be A-T-T-R-I-B space. Now we're going to do the same drive letter we did before. So it's going to be the C drive in my case. And then, again, it's going to be a colon. And, again, a colon, it's basically one dot on top of another dot. So if you hold down the Shift key and the key right next to the L key on your keyboard. So if you're unfamiliar with where to find the colon key, that's where it is. You can go on Google Images and look that up, too. But, again, so C colon, 
bank slash boot, B-O-O-T, bank slash B-C-D, space minus sign H, space minus sign R, space minus sign S. So I know that was a lot, but that was again A-T-T-R-I-B, space, and then type in your drive letter here, and then you're going to do a colon, backslash boot, B-O-O-T, backslash B-C-D, space minus H, space minus R, space minus S. So it also might be called the subtraction sign, whatever you want to call it, it's fine with me. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Now you notice we don't get any message here at all, which is fine. Do not worry about that. That means we probably did it correctly. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next command here. So it's going to be R-E-N space, same drive letter we did before. So again, it's a C drive in my case. And then a colon, backslash boot, backslash B-C-D space bcd dot old so bcd dot old basically so again ren space c colon backslash boot backslash bcd space bcd dot or period old so dot period whatever you want to refer to this character as go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard and I promise you guys we're almost done here. So now type in B-O-O-T-R-E-C space forward slash rebuild B-C-D. Again, all one word. So boot rack B-O-O-T-R-E-C space forward slash rebuild B-C-D. All one word, no spaces at all on there. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. Should say scanning all disk for Windows installations. Please wait, this may take a little while here. So we can see it has successfully scanned the Windows installations here. It did find one, fortunately, which is good. That's what you want. So you're going to go ahead and tap the Y key on your keyboard, just the letter Y. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Should see the operation completed successfully. At this point, you go ahead and close out of here. You could type in exit as well if you prefer. So close out of here. And you go ahead and continue to Windows. So I'm running an earlier version of Windows 11 here. So this is Windows 10 Pro. But it should say the exact same thing for Windows 11. And the process should be identical. I mean, this is a Windows 11 machine here. But um, quite a process here, guys. You know, I hope everybody stuck through it. I felt like I was on it, the journey with everybody there. I could feel the struggle. But we made it through. And we are back into Windows. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. Do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.